Okay, all ready? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. John, I'm one of the medical screeners. Roberta, nice to meet you. Hi, Roberta, thank you for coming in today. I am a volunteer medical screener for the Red Cross. We are the first people that the donors would see. So how long have you been donating? We help screen and make sure that everything is safe enough for the donor to donate. We go through the health history part and that ensures that the blood is safe enough for the recipients. So you're eligible to donate a... We are with people who want to be here to help other people. Red Cross donor specialist Jim Hoff and volunteer medical screener Jennifer Yang work as a team. It's the most important part, therefore it takes the longest. Um, and that's typically where it can get bogged down. The New York Penn region is the first in the nation to pilot a new program for the Red Cross that recruits volunteers who perform pre-donation screenings that include health histories and many physicals. It's making our job easier, making the donor experience more pleasant. It really has on the busy drives with the volunteers, it has made our job easier, it's made it just a very good experience because it, like I say, gives that one extra hand. Part of the what the medical screener does is to alleviate that bottleneck. The actual blood donation part takes about like four to five minutes because we have to do the physical exam and the health history, that takes about like 30 minutes. They can just focus on their job and then we just focus on ours. Yang is one of seven pilot program volunteers with a medical background who underwent the same training as employees. Anybody with a medical background has that innate want to help others. So this is just a nice extension to that. And they're almost more committed to it because they're not getting a paycheck and they're doing it really out of the passion to help the community. I don't feel it's gonna infringe or take away from jobs from staff in the Red Cross. Um, I just think it's, it's gonna work. So sort of proud that we were able to pilot that because it sort of says a lot about our staff and we have a lot of good people out there who wanted to make the program work once it was explained to them. Okay. How are you feeling? Good. Thank you for coming in, we appreciate it. One of the donors' biggest concern is the wait. They want to, they're donating their time and their blood, they don't want to wait. Donors have mentioned how quick it goes because we can focus on our job as phlebotomists and we have medical screeners, the volunteers, getting those donors through the process quicker. We've seen like an increase in flow um, happier donors are willing to donate again. <laughs> Once this is successful, hopefully we'll see numbers go up in other locations too. There's no substitute for blood. When blood is needed, and it needs to be on the shelf at that moment of time, it can't wait. When I hold that bag of blood, every time I think this is gonna go help potentially three people saving their lives. Mm -hmm.